So, of course, the third of the three big MMA stories that I have to talk about this week is what's coming up at the UFC Apex this upcoming weekend. Leon Edwards finally gets his fight. It's not the one that people were waiting for. For a very long time now, we have been waiting to see Leon Edwards you know, try to welcome Hamzat Shimeyev theoretically into the top five of the UFC welterweight division. Now that hasn't happened, and it's happened specifically because of COVID. You know, first, Leon Edwards had COVID, and so they had to cancel that fight, which is a shame because that was a just an absolutely glorious card that they had built around that fight, but, you know, nobody can really control this COVID thing forever, and unfortunately got to Leon Edwards. So they rescheduled the fight, and then, lo and behold, what happened, but Chimeyev got COVID. So they rescheduled the fight, and Chimeyev was not far enough past the COVID to be ready for that fight, and so eventually Bilal Muhammad steps in. Now this is a very, very interesting fight in the sense of what these two fighters are looking for. Because in the case of Leon Edwards, you know, basically the word is that if he wins this fight, he gets a championship fight against Kamara Usman. I mean, of course, that's presuming that Jorge Masvidal doesn't take the title off of Kamara Usman before then. Well, maybe Edwards' fight will be against uh, against Masvidal. Who knows? But meanwhile, what's Bilal Muhammad looking at? As it turns out, that what Bilal Muhammad is looking at is he's looking specifically straight at Leon Edwards, and he isn't looking at anything else. Leon Edwards is going into this fight. He's looking past it to a championship match. Bilal Muhammad has already come out and said that this is his championship fight. Now, arguably, this is potentially a very dangerous situation for Leon Edwards to be in. Because of all the different fighters in the UFC that somebody could safely overlook, you know, Bilal Muhammad, he's not really one of the well-known, you know, established stars of MMA. Now, he's not what you would call a household name. But he is a very, very skilled, talented, competent fighter. He's not anybody that anybody should overlook. Now, personally, I like Leon Edwards a lot. And as I've come to understand it, that's apparently not a very popular position. There do not seem to be a lot of people out there who do like Leon Edwards a whole lot. You know, there have been some interesting questions raised about why it is that the UFC just won't promote him as a fighter. There are some very interesting theories out there. Uh, one that I heard recently was actually what it has to do more with is just the detail that, you know, a British fighter is a little bit more of a difficult commodity to profitably market. Uh, the UFC makes most of its money off of pay-per-view revenues, and in Britain they don't actually work based on a uh, what you would call like a pay-per-view model. They actually work on a subscription model. So people who are interested in MMA, they, they order subscriptions to see all of these, these fights that we have to watch on pay-per-view. And for uh, most British audiences, these fights happen at very, 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 very uh, inconvenient times. We're talking like sometimes, as I understand it, 3.30 a.m., 5.30 a.m. An MMA fan in Britain, you know, you're something of a night owl. You know, it means that MMA... that. Um, means that MMA fans in Britain, and as a matter of fact, MMA fans throughout Europe, if they're following the UFC, they have to be very avid fans, or de very dedicated fans. But it also means that in Europe, as a matter of fact, I would say probably outside of North America, you know, there are probably not very many what you would call casual UFC fans. You know, the schedules and the financial models, they're just not set up that way. So if anybody's going to turn around and knock Leon Edwards out of the top five, you know, and take away that prospect of him as a UFC welterweight champion that they're going to have a difficult time marketing, I'm sure that Bilal Muhammad is every bit as good for that purpose as any other fighter is in the UFC's eyes. And the simple fact of the matter is that whether we like it or not, it does seem like the UFC has kind of had its eye on Leon Edwards as a guy that they you know, would like to deal with in one way or another. I mean, earlier this year, the UFC actually took his ranking from him for a brief period of time. And basically, the excuse that they used was that he had been inactive as a fighter. 
And of course, that's a pretty weak excuse when we consider the fact that his inactivity, you know, that was not his fault. He was poised to have a fight right before COVID struck. And of course, he can't control if all of the fights get called off because of COVID. And so, of course, then it's not reasonable to take his ranking from him as if it is his fault. So what Leon Edwards needs to do right now is he needs to keep his bosses frustrated. He needs to go into that fight. He needs to win that fight and get his championship fight. He needs to focus like a laser on Bilal Muhammad. Because if he doesn't, then there's going to be a very good chance that Bilal Muhammad is going to beat him. Now let's make no bones about this. Dana White actually does have his reasons if he doesn't mind seeing that happen. Come on, one more time. He needs to focus like a laser on Bilal Muhammad. Because if he doesn't, there's a very good chance that Bilal Muhammad is going to beat him. Now let's make no bones about this. Dana White does have his reasons if he doesn't mind seeing that happen.